Thousands of families counted on a St. Petersburg nonprofit to safeguard money meant to provide for their disabled loved ones. But sadly, as we've been reporting, $100 million of that money is missing. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Now the FBI is investigating. Eight on your side investigator Brittany Muller joins us now with this huge development. Brittany. Jen and Josh, good afternoon. Amparo Perella says $2 million of her son's money has vanished. She doesn't know if he will ever get that money back. Now, with the FBI launching a criminal investigation, Perella hopes federal investigators take swift action. Amparo Perella says her son needs around-the-clock care. Our son Javier had a severe um, reaction to, a, so he had a vaccine injury at six months of age. Leaving Javier Daniel with hundreds of seizures a day. For the first six years, he was in a wheelchair. He was considered blind. Um, they thought he would never be able to talk or walk um, and that he just wouldn't make it past the age of six. Javier Daniel is turning 31 next month. Back in 2001, he received a settlement through the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program. Perella says they counted on the Center for Special Needs Trust Administration to protect her son's future. But in February, the center filed for bankruptcy. And $2 million of Javier Daniel's money vanished. Center founder Leo Gavani stands accused of siphoning over $100 million in funds that were intended to help people with disabilities, but instead loaned it to other businesses under his control. Seven months later, Perales received this letter in the mail from the FBI Tampa Division, notifying her that her son is a possible victim of a federal crime. What is your reaction to knowing that there's a federal investigation going on into your son's missing money? Um, I'm very happy it is finally going on. Um, I wish it had been sooner. There are 2,000 victims. Um, and I hope that the FBI and anyone that's involved in investigating this um, will expedite this. The FBI tells eight on your side this is an ongoing criminal matter and would not comment further. We were already victimized by the situation that we went through and here we are again being victimized again. So please expedite um, prosecuting who should be held accountable. The FBI is working to identify victims who have suffered losses in connection to the center. Investigators are asking those to fill out an online questionnaire and connect them with further assistance and additional resources. We will post all of that information on our website, WFLA.com.